Hi, in this video I'll show you how to transpose data or a table in Power Query. Now, transposing data should be pretty easy when you really think about it. This is an example. Let's say we have this cross table. We have items here in the top, east, west, north, in the bottom here, or in our rows. Control C to copy. Let's go to paste, paste transpose right here. And it transposes our table. Basically, we're swapping out the column headers and the row headers, right? Same here. These are just column headers. We're going to do the same thing. Control C to copy and then Control V to paste or just uh, paste transpose and it should do that. But what you'll find in Power Query is it's not that simple. Uh, and But there's a very easy fix. First we'll turn these into tables. Select that, Control T, turn that to a table and maybe I'll do this one too. Control T Control T, turn this into a table. Let's do this one first. Go to data, get and transform data from table. And as you see here, when it comes up, let's move Power Query up a little bit so we can see it better. Go into the transform tab. There is a transpose function here. Now, if I press that, now you'll notice that it's transposed the data and it's put the first row for my east, west, north, south. And you would think, I just have to use the first row's headers, but there's something missing here. If I look at what I transposed earlier, where are my items? Item one to five, it's gone. I have my east, west, south, but it's gone. And that is perplexing. Change this, go up here to the second step, right click and delete that. Delete until end. There's actually a pretty easy fix for this. Click delete. What I need to do is I need to demote my headers first. Go to use first rows headers, click the drop down here, and say use headers as first row. Get those headers the first row, then I click transpose, and now I have my um, headers here. Then I use first use first row as headers. You can click on that, or if you want to click the drop down to see it's there, or I just click on the icon there. It'll bring it back up, and now you noticed that is the same as what I had here. I have my east, west, north, south, items one, two, three, four, five, and my values. And that's the extra step you have to take. You would think that it'd be as easy as just doing a copy and paste transpose like they do in Excel, but it's not. You have a couple extra steps. They're not too bad, but it would have been helpful if Power Query did know that you had your header rows up there and you didn't have to do the uh, demote and promote headers. You probably wouldn't expect to bring a small data set into Power Query and then transpose it. Better to do it in Excel natively. But if this was a part of a series of steps and you're trying to figure it out, this is the way you'd have to do it. You'd have to demote the headers and then transpose the table and then promote the headers. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.